Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's explore how we can find the volume of things in three-dimensional space. Let's start with something very simple, a rectangular box. Now a rectangular box will have a square base, even though I put the angle in there and called it phi, let's assume for the moment that that angle is 90 degrees. And so we realize that the volume of a rectangular box would be equal to the area of the base times the height. Now what I've done here is I've de defined a vector a to, to be the length of the one side directed from left to right and a vector b the length of the other side directed from here to here of the length and also the length of b is equal to the length of that side as well and therefore we know that from using the equation for the area of a parallelogram which of course is equal to the area of a rectangle or the area of a square the area of the base would then be equal to the magnitude of the cross product of those two vectors and let's call that the vector c a cross b let's call it vector c which of course would be perpendicular to the plane where a and b are at and the magnitude of c is equal to the magnitude of a cross b and let's just assume that that vector the green vector here represents the magnitude of the cross product of a cross b now we're going to define another vector we have a third side to our cube and let's then represent this vector right here let's call that vector d and so you can see that that vector has a length equal to the height of the cube and then also the direction will be from the base to the very top of the cube now the angle between vector c and vector d let's call that angle equal to theta and of course in this case theta would be equal to zero if it's purely a rectangular box or a cube like that now we realize that the volume must be equal to the area of the base the area of the base multiplied times the height uh, height there we go and let's call the height h right here now since the area of the base is represented by the magnitude of the cross product which is equal to the magnitude of c if we then multiply the length of c which is the magnitude of c which represents the area of the base times the magnitude of the height which means the magnitude of the d vector here then we find the volume which means that the volume could also be defined as the dot product between d and the vector that comes from a cross b so if we don't take the magnitude of a cross b but if we simply take the vector of a cross b well the vector of a cross b which is equal to the vector c and then if we do the dot product between the two well that gives us the magnitude of c times the magnitude of d times the cosine of the angle between them so this means that the volume of that box is equal to d dotted with c so that would be the dot product with d and c and so the volume can then be written as the magnitude of d times the magnitude of c times the cosine of the angle between the two and of course in this case the cosine of that angle the angle is zero degrees so we have v is equal to d times c times the cosine of zero degrees which is equal to 1, so that's equal to d times c times 1 or in other words the volume is equal to the magnitude of the vector d which is the height of the, of the cube times the magnitude of c which is equal to the area of the base so this is equal to height times the area of the base which means that if you're going to find the volume of a cube in three-dimensional space regardless in which way it's oriented that's the trick now if it's if, it's, if the, the base is in the xy plane and the height is directed in the z-axis that makes it easy you can always do that easily but what if the the cube is directed in some odd direction all we have to do is know where the locations of the points are of the cube or the rectangular box we then define the vectors along each of the three sides and then we realize that we take two of the vectors it doesn't matter which two of the vectors we take we could take b and d or we can take a and d and then use b as the third vector 
So you take the cross product of two vectors and then you take the dot product of that cross product with the third vector and that will give you the volume of the rectangle box or the cube in three-dimensional space. So basically it comes down to this. If you want to find the volume, do the cross product between two vectors, take that result and do the dot product with the third vector. And that's how you do it.